Two Fish Talks. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Two Fish Talks. I'm Miss Brooke. Here's my good friend, Ruff. <laughs> We're here today to read with you on our children's daily one-year Bible. Are you ready? Let's go. Israel is taken into captivity, 2 Kings 17. When God brought the Israelites from slavery in Egypt many years before, he warned them not to worship fake gods. There were people living in the promised land before the Israelites came. Those people worshipped fake gods too, but the Lord told his people they must not worship the fake gods, even if they still tried to worship him too. The Israelites did not obey God. They often turned away from him. Again and again they worshipped the fake gods, bowing down to idols made of gold or wood. Sometimes they tried to worship both God and the idols, but God would not accept that. The Lord sent prophets to warn the people. Sometimes they listened, often they did not. When David was king, he followed the Lord. When his son Solomon came to the throne, he obeyed God at first. Then he became very rich. He married foreign wives who worshipped other gods, and they turned his heart away from the true God of the Israelites. When Solomon's son Rehoboam became king, the nation divided into two kingdoms the kingdom of Judah, and the kingdom of Israel. There were some good kings, but there were also many evil kings. At last, during the time when Hosea was the king of Israel, the Assyrians took over Israel. The Assyrians made the people of Israel pay them a lot of money and taxes. Then King Hosea got upset and would not pay the taxes. He asked the king of Egypt to help him fight Assyria. When the king of Assyria heard that, he put Hosea in prison and brought many Assyrian soldiers into the land of Israel. Three years later, the Assyrians captured Samaria, the capital city of Israel. They set the Israelites off to Assyria. The king of Assyria then sent some Assyrians from Babylon to live in Israel. These Assyrians did not worship the Lord, so the Lord sent lions, which killed some of them. When they told the king of Assyria about that, he sent an Israelite priest back home. He said, Let the priest tell our people how to worship the God of Israel. This was good, for the Assyrians began to worship the Lord, but they did not stop worshiping their fake God. Thanks so much for joining with us today as we read through our one-year children's Bible. We'll read more tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye-bye!